Hey guys, thanks for making your way to the video today. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for, for checking out the video. Um, I thought I'd make a quick video here on the aero and the cabin air filter. I get this question all the time. Um, you know, people saying the aero should go up, people saying the aero should go down, uh, saying the Toyota owner's manual says the aero should go up. Well, and that, that could be true if it depends on a couple of different things. Um, the air filter that you're working with is the aero indicating the installation direction, like the arrow points up, uh, that's how they want you to install it. Um, in that case, um, you would do it that way. Uh, now, most aftermarket filters, the arrow is going to indicate the airflow direction, which is totally different. Um, and on different cars, it's going to go different ways. Um, you know, there's the blower motor on mine right there. Um, so we know that the air comes in from the top of the blower motor and then goes out. Um, so my airflow direction is top to bottom. Uh, how you see my uh, cabin air filter is installed there. Now, another way, if you don't know, and maybe had it installed wrong the last time or who knows, but when you pull out your dirty filter, there's going to be a dirty side and there's going to be a clean side. Let's go ahead and pull mine out. Um, now, whether it was installed wrong or not the last time, at least what the dirty side will tell you versus the clean side is it'll tell you which way the air is flowing if you don't know. Um, so we can see that this is the dirty side here. It has lots of uh, particles and different things trapped in it. Um, so, you know, we would know that the airflow is coming top to bottom. Um, so then we would know how to install the next one as long as the arrow is indicating airflow direction and not... Um, uh, the installation direction. But like I said, most of the, the aftermarket stuff that you're going to buy, the arrow is going to indicate uh, airflow direction. Um, another thing is when you pull your cover off, sometimes the covers will, will tell you. Mine doesn't. It doesn't say which direction the airflow goes, but sometimes the covers will, t will tell you. So you can always look at that as well. So I get the question a lot of does it matter, and yes, it does matter. They design these air filters um, a specific way that the air should flow through them, uh, making them the most efficient they can be, trapping out the most dust and particles. If you install it the wrong way, it's still going to work. It's just not going to work as efficiently. Um, so even if you did install it wrong way a previous time, when you pull out the dirty one, your dirty side is going to be where the air is coming in. The cleaner side is where the air is ex exiting. Um, and now you know your airflow direction. So when you buy a new cabin air filter with an arrow that indicates airflow direction, you'll know which way to put it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I do appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.